Alrighty, well hello there. It's been a long time, huh? <laughs> We've had such terrible weather over here. I'm really surprised to see anything out here tonight. But anyway, today is on Wednesday, August 18th, 2021, and it's now 9.29 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And that's in the United States of America, for those who don't know. Anyway, at the moment, we're focused on Jupiter here, as we can see. And there's a few of its moons showing. Looks like three of them. I'm not sure where the fourth one is. I didn't look to see where they would be. And as usual, with uh, Jupiter being so low in the sky, and it is probably less than a minute away from going into the trees, um, we're not going to have much chance to see anything here. But... Tomorrow, on Thursday to Friday, Jupiter's going to be in opposition, so that means it's going to be close to Earth for the year, and uh, it should look big and bright up in the sky. Well, it normally does anyway, but <laughs> it'll be closer, and hopefully you'll have uh, some clear skies to see it. I'm not holding out much hope for us, not with the kind of weather we've had, but... Now at this point, I can't get Saturn from where I'm set up. It's over hidden in the uh, willow tree branches, but I might be able to take us over to um, the moon. I think it's about 77% lit. It's over to the right. Oh, by the way, we are on the uh, Canon R camera with the RF 800 millimeter lens and the 2X extender so we are at um, 1600 millimeters and since I'm recording externally you can't do this um, if you're recording in the camera we're using the 10X focusing zoom so that gets us up to 16,000 and Jupiter is almost gone it's in the trees and that's at 1600 yeah it's gone now. Okay, so let's try to head over to the moon. And hopefully we have it in focus. Okay, and there's the moon at, um, let me see what we're at, 5x. Let's take her up to 10x. There we go. Might still be a little bit too light. Let me scroll around a little bit. Scrolling around the moon. <laughs> And again, the moon, just like Jupiter, is not going to come in very well. Not in our watery skies here. We've had so much rain and downpours and everything else over here. And if it wasn't wild weather, it'd be from the hazy skies, from the smoke of all the wildfires out there in the... Uh, Western part of the country. So we'll just scroll around here. Oh my goodness, my glasses are <laughs> fogging up. And we're over at the, what I call the boneyard. <laughs> the Titan's boneyard. And we had to darken it up a little bit because it'll be too bright on this side. As we try to get over, if I can find it. Hang on a second. There we go. And this is the area I call the Mesa with the light beam area and the question mark. <laughs> I'll try to point out that question mark for those who can't see it. That's, that's what it looks like to me. <laughs> OK, 
get a wider view look there. We're at 5x now. Yeah, we can get those uh, numbers and letters over there. <laughs> Looks like a broken 3 and a 2 and the letter F. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, head back down to the bottom. And go full screen. There we go. I meant to shut it off. There we are. So we can get the full part of the moon in the shot. Well, it's really a shame the way things are around here. That I haven't been able to get uh, Jupiter and Saturn in the same shot. And I'm not sure how the pictures will come out. But if they're okay, I'll insert them in here. And if not, well, I won't. Anyway, I hope wherever you are, you're having a great time, and you're safe, and everything is all right in your world. See y'all take care. It is now 9.39 p.m. up here. The crickets and I will say goodnight to you. Bye now.